The proposed research project is entitled Development of Research Platform for Short-Range Heavy Payload Multi-Mission Unmanned Aircraft System. This project aims to develop an unmanned aircraft system, upscaling the platform using an airplane kit for various advantages. Some of these are off-the-shelf kit demands a small number of man-hours to assemble, which equates to more time reconfiguring the payload bay and multi-sensor pod while maintaining the manufacturer's flight envelope. The multi-sensor pod will be developed for navigation, control, and telemetry requirements as interfaced with the semi-autonomous flight control system. Other advantages are higher cargo capacity that qualifies to perform multi-missions such as logistical support in a disaster, aerial dropping of essential supplies for ground troops, rapid delivery of COVID-19 vaccines in far-flung areas, etc. This equates to greater utilization of the aircraft and without mentioning the simple design of the airplane kit that is easier to fly, an ideal testbed. The vehicle performs well at lower and higher speeds, burn less fuel using less expensive automotive fuel, and short takeoff and landing capability, among other variety of missions for the U.S. supporting the military. The proposed research will focus on aerial delivery mission, where manned aircraft poses risk to the crew, carrier of electronic warfare equipment, and meteorology research vehicle. The advantages of using an LSA platform are the high capacity of LSA translates into a multi-mission platform, its low operational cost and high autonomy, the platform has few systems ideal for a UAV testbed, it has an option of holding wings for easy transport, safer slow flying characteristics, equipped with emergency parachute system for a safe recovery of the airplane in case of abnormal flight altitude and less expensive than traditional entry-level airplane. In the UAV sector, there is a need for high-capacity payload which is more capable of doing several missions that can support various defense missions and civil military operations. In the long run, this enhancement of capabilities will translate into lower cost of operation. The high payload capability of the LSA platform will eliminate the restriction for long-endurance flights for about 4.5 hours. Its high operational flexibility gives versatility in performing any desired mission depending on the prevailing conditions. The proposed solution is a low-cost semi-autonomous UAS yet can perform multi-missions either as logistical support or as close support aircraft carrying electronic warfare equipment to boost higher success to any military missions. Notwithstanding its capability to act as communication relay during the first 48 hours after any disaster where communication lines and towers are destroyed or disabled. Also, it can serve as a research platform, whether for meteorological investigations or for any research domain requirements. The finished product will revive and a great contribution to the self-reliance and defense posture program of the Philippine Armed Forces. It will also help in mainstreaming UAV technology in local setting. The multi-mission UAS has the following features and capability. High operational flexibility due to its high payload capacity. Payload is about 250 kilograms which can be increased by emptying the cabin with equipment and fixtures not essential to its flight. The vehicle is capable of short takeoff and landing. Control system is semi-autonomous but placing it as optionally piloted vehicle where the pilot on board can take over in any eventualities, notwithstanding the aircraft emergency parachute for safe recovery of the vehicle and pilot. Installed with pod for various sensors, depending on the mission desired and navigational aid, the military missions include aerial dropping for relief and disasters and essential supply for ground troops carrier of electronic warfare equipment like jamming apparatus or serves as network node or communications relay, and research vehicle for weather observation. The mode of operation during landing and takeoff, the ground pilot visually controls the airplane through telemetry. In cruising, the ground control station controller takes over utilizing global navigation satellite system sensor. Inertia measuring unit, open hardware, flight control, and autopilot software for navigation. Flight endurance is at least 4.4 hours but can be stretched longer by proper selection of engine. 
The autopilot system is embedded with redundant technology such as lost link profile so that it can fly back to the designated recovery point if the ground station is lost in flight. The specific objectives are Assemble a ready-to-build LSA kit for the platform Design and implement a configurable payload bay to fit any desired mission Develop a multi-sensor pod for navigation, control, telemetry, and other mission-driven requirements Develop an electromechanical interface of the flight controls and propulsion And develop a mobile ground control system the proposed UAS system architecture depicts the use of open hardware flight controller and open source autopilot software. GNSS sensor and IMUs are deployed for reliable and precise navigation. Important additional flight sensor is the pilot tube to measure airspeed. The flight controller is linked with an onboard computer for development where data ported from the communication camera and payload systems will be processed. Two telemetry systems will be installed to control the airplane manually and the other connection to monitor the sensors and UAS status among others. The development commences with the building and assembly of the LSA ready to build kit. Functional and operational checks will be made to the airplane prior to developing the payload, multi-sensors pod, and electromechanical interface. Proficiency flights will be made for the pilot to familiarize the handling and flight characteristics of the airplane. After the LSA kit has been assembled and tested, development can be made for the reconfigurable payload to perform aerial dropping and to carry electronic warfare equipment, communications relay, and weather sensors. In parallel, the electron and mechanical interfaces will be developed for integration with the flight control surface and propulsion. Next to be developed is the multi-sensor pods containing three units dedicated for flight, sensing, and power. The autopilot who stabilizes the vehicle's flight characteristics processes key information from the sensors and has the capability to hand over the control of the vehicle to the pilot on the ground for the takeoff and landing. The acquired data from the onboard sensors will be transmitted to the ground control station through the telemetry system. The telemetry controls the UAV including monitoring sensors and UAS status, setup controller, verify results with graphs, set up different flight modes, start or stop autonomous navigation, and enable flight home function. These are the test procedures to be followed after all the UAS subsystems have been fully integrated. These are the six P's of the proposed project. And lastly, the total budget for this project is 42,056,231.98 pesos, in which Holy Angel University and Philippine Air Force will have a counterfund funding of 8.5 million. Thank you very much.